بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از باکر اقبال اینڈ آئی ایم فائنل ایئر فائنل ایئر میڈیکل اسٹوڈنٹ ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک از ایگزامینیشن آف ریسپائریٹری سسٹم دیز آر مائی گروپ ممبرس اینڈ وچ فاروق احمد ول بی پرفارمنگ ایز اے ڈاکٹر اینڈ ادنان احمد ول بی پرفارمنگ ایز اے پیشنٹ سو لیٹس ٹاک Causes of physical signs found on the respiratory examination, inspection, palpation, percussion, auscultation. So in case of pneumonia, there can be cough, sputum, production, fever. In case of pneumothorax, there can be dyspnea, chest pain, history of trauma. Through the effusion, there can be uh, dyspnea, mild non-productive cough, chest pain, and, and in case of COPDs, the, there can be chronic uh, history of chronic smoking, repeated chest infection, etc. Uh, in palpation, uh, increased tactile frematis, um, decreased chest expansion, unilateral. Uh, in case of uh, pneumo, uh, uh, in palpation, in case of pneumothorax, um, there can be decreased tactile primitus, uh, tracheal deviation, extension away from effect, affected side, decreased chest in, uh, expansion unilateral. In case of pleural effusion, decreased uh, tactile primitus, tracheal deviation away from affected side. Uh, in case of COPDs, decrease uh, chest expansion bilaterally. Uh, so then percussion, percussion can be dull in case of pneumonia. Uh, and uh, in case of pneumothorax, there can be hyper resonant. Uh, and percussion in case of uh, pleural effusion, uh, stony dull. Uh, and uh, in case of COPDs, hyper resonant. In escalation, we can see broke. Uh, and in case of in escalation, Uh, there can be bronchial uh, breathing, added sound, crackles, wheeze, uh, increased vocal resonance, and, uh, and pneumothorax escalation. And the escalation of uh, pneumothorax, uh, decreased vesicular uh, breath, sound, added sound, and uh, in case of rural effusion, decreased vesicular, uh, vesicular breath, sounds, crackles at the upper edge of the effusion. And in case of COPDs, uh, decreased ves vesicular breath, sound, added sound, and these. Uh, general, general examination uh, on the back, uh, so we, uh, and general examination on the back, several edema, or, uh, ankles, peripher peripheral edema. Examining the respiratory system, examining the patient's chest. Introduction. Introduction. In the examination of respiratory system, first we will inspect the patient, then we will go for palp palpation, then percussion, escultation. Uh, introduction. First, the uh, doctor should wash his hand and introduce uh, his self to the patient and uh, introduce his self to the patient, explain concern and expose. And position should be supine at 45 degree. So let's start with inspections. Uh, so let's start with uh, inspection. So uh, in case of uh, chest, anterior posterior, anterior posterior diameters, Uh, skull, chest, drain, sides, deformity of chest. Inspection. A great deal of information can be gathered from simply watching the patient breath, pay, pay um, particular attention to the following. General comfort and breath, uh, breathing pattern of the patient. Do they appear distressed, uh, diaphoretic, uh, labored, or the breaths regular, irregular, and deep? Use use of accessory muscles of breathing such as sternal, 
fluidomostoid muscle. Their uh, their use signifies some element of respiratory difficulty. Color of the color of the patient in particular around the lips and the nail beds. Always look for always look for sputum pot. Is it yellow green? Is it yellow sputum or green? Massive amount of sputum. Uh, we can see most likely in bronchial tests. Look for sign of blood. <coughs> Uh, just like uh, can be in case of infection, uh, infection or malignancy. Cyanosis, which is uh, actually a bluish discoloration visible at the nail bases and select uh, uh, in nail bases and select patient with severe hypoxemia or hypoperfusion. As with clubbing, it is not not at all uh, sensitive for either of these conditions. Clubbing. Bulbous appearance of the distal phalanges of all fingers along uh, concurrent loss of the normal angle between the nail base and the adjacent skin. Most commonly associated with con condition that cause chronic hypoxemia, uh, for example, severe uh, emphysema, also associated with number of other conditions. As you can see in the picture, this is called, uh, this is actually called clubbing. This is uh, nicotine staining. As you can see in the picture, there is staining. Pulse. At the risk, you should take the patient's pulse. A bounding pulse may indicate carbon dioxide retention. Retention after you have taken the pulse, uh, it is uh, advisable to keep you uh, to keep your hands in the same position and certainly count the patient's respiratory rate. This helps to keep it as natural as possible. So. <clears throat> Chest wall, uh, so following or the some chest deformities uh, of the chest wall. Pectus uh, uh, ex, uh, excavatum, congenital posterior displacement of lower aspect of sternum, as you can see in the picture. And kyphosis cause, causes the patient to be bent forward. Length, length adenopathy. Look for any use of uh, any use of accessory muscles such as the sternal cloid mostoid muscles also pulpate pulpate for the left the supraclavicular node, which is also called vicose node, as an enlarged node. May, may, may suggest metastatic metastatic lung cancer. So now, Dr. Farooq will start with the uh, first step uh, in the examination of the respiratory system, which is called inspection. So, Dr. Farooq, please. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Farooq, and I am last year medical student. Before starting my examination, first I will wash my hand. May I examine you, please? Yes. What's your good name? Abnani Ahmad. And age? 23. Occupation? Student. <clears throat> now I am going to inspect your respiratory system. <clears throat> In respiratory system, we check shortness of breath, cyanosis, paler edema. Now I am inspecting your hand. Can you show me your hand? Pillar, uh, peripheral cyanosis seen in congenital heart diseases or uh, heart failure. Splinter hemorrhage seen in infective endocarditis. Tar staining seen in uh, smoker. <coughs> Can you show me your uh, two finger together? Okay. Finger clubbing uh, seen in infective endocarditis and congenital uh, diseases. 
Now I am inspecting your mouth. Open your mouth and upward. I look for angular stomatitis and uh, central uh, cyanosis. Now I am inspecting your chest. So there is no scar in uh, chest wall deformities. So let's, let's move into uh, perfection. Start in supra clavicular fossa being worked down from that side to side, including axilla and all abnormalities. As you can see, the doctor is performing perfection on the patient. Clinical examination, thorax, uh, escalation. So now Dr. Farooq will perform the uh, percussion. Now I am going to percuss your chest. Okay. <clears throat> Posterior side. Percussion is normal. Dull percussion, uh, dull percussion is seen in uh, consolidation, collapse, and effusion. So, uh, clinically, in clinic, clinical examination, thoracic. Red sound present, reduce or absent bronchial, uh, bronchial breathing, uh, idiophany, etc. As you can see in the picture, added sound, uh, uh, added sound, V, crackles, pure uh, rub, can be local or generalized, and spiratic, spiratory, mono, polypodic. Uh, crackles can be fine, coarse, and spiratic, spiratic. So now, Dr. Paul, now, now I am going to auscultate your chest. When I uh, play the stethoscope, you can say nine nine. Okay. Nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. Now I check posterior side. Nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. Okay. <coughs> so let's move into the last step of uh, the last step of examination and the uh, of the respiratory system, which is also which is called palpation and is also known as spatting. Uh, trachea uh, affects mid uh, chest ex uh, expansion. Tactile primitus, tactile primitus, normal lens, uh, transpect, uh, palpable, vibratory sensation, your chest wall. Pathology condition will, will alter with alter primitus and for for particular uh, lung consolidation uh, occurs uh, when when the non normally air filled lung parenchyma becomes in uh, in course with fluid or tissue. Pleural fluid, known as uh, pleural effusion, can collect in the potential space that exists between the lungs and the chest wall, displacing the lung upwards. As you can see in the picture, it is called consolidation and pleural effusion. In the picture, there there is an infiltrate through the space, normal lung. Infusion and infiltrates 
can perhaps uh, be more easily understood using a sponge to represent the limb. So now Dr. Farooq will palpate the patient. Now I am palpating your chest to check your trachea. Now I check palin for you So uh, I will summarize my case. I perform respiratory examination on, uh, on patient Adnan Ahmed, uh, 23 year old, no periphery uh, stigma and a respiratory disease, regular pulses, a regular breathing, normal percussion from front and back, normal vesicular breathing, so the patient is normal. <coughs>